When you're first getting started with WordPress, I know that even the simplest tweaks can sometimes feel overwhelming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of the most common requests, which is to adjust the color and font size and some other tweaks of your post and page titles. Now, before we start messing with any CSS, the first thing you should always do is check if your theme has some controls that lets you change these styles without touching the code. So for example, in my theme, I'm going to go to customize. And it has its own color settings here. And we'll go to color, content. And if I scroll down, I can just adjust the content title just like that. And of course, my theme also has typography controls, font size settings as well. If your theme doesn't have this and you don't know CSS, you might want to consider upgrading to a more premium theme that does give you full control over these elements of your site. I'm going to put a recommendation for a couple of themes down in the video description, but the one I use personally on most of my sites is Generate Press Premium. Now, if you don't have these controls in your theme, don't worry, we can still easily change the post title with just a couple lines of CSS code. So the first thing we need to do is have a place to put our CSS code and it's built in right into WordPress. You can just go to customize, then scroll down here to additional CSS. And here's where we can start adding our code. All right, now that we have our additional CSS panel open, we actually need to find the correct CSS class to target for our rules. So in almost any browser, you can just right click on the post title here and you'll see an option to inspect. I'm in Chrome. Uh, but I know Firefox has this and I think Edge has this as well. Uh, and it should select the correct element, but just in case you want to make sure that you've selected this H1 element, which is the class entry title on my site. And it may be the same on your site, or it may have a different class, uh, but we're going to tailor the rule to your exact site. So this is what we need to target. And all we have to do is write a rule. So we're going to target any H1 that has the class entry title. And again, if you have a different class here, you're going to insert this instead of entry title on your site. So we can close our little window here. And I'm just going to write h1 dot or period entry title. So that's any h1 that has the class entry title. And we can write our rule. For example, we could say color teal, and it'll now change the color to a blue green. You could also change the font size. And maybe even make it uh, center aligned. Make it bold. And for fun, you could add some text shadow too. Okay, it really is that simple. And as you can see, it's only affected our H1 heading here. It's not gonna affect anything else on the page. Now, one thing you can't do here is change the font family unless you're changing it to a font family that's a system font already built into your visitor's computer, or if you want to make it a font that's already being loaded on your site. But if you're trying to use a Google font, you actually have to import that font first. And that's something that we're going to cover in a future video. Now, CSS is such a valuable skill if you're going to be building your own websites. And I know it can be intimidating at first, but if you want to get started, I highly recommend codeacademy.com, which has a number of free courses that include HTML and CSS. I also want to give a shout out to Kevin Powell's YouTube channel. He has some amazing free content on learning CSS freely available on YouTube. And also I'm going to link up a free crash course. It's about a 90 minute crash course that will really get you up and running with CSS. And you can just watch that right here.